Looky, looky, looky. It's so blue. Now, I would hang this up. I would take this picture and put it on my wall. In my bedroom. He's going to play basketball. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Dana. What? Let's play the song He plays okay. tennis, so he playing go. What? What? We brought him to our blue park. Ooh, I'm going to take a bite. We're gonna take them down there to the water. It's a beautiful day to jump in today. Put our shoes on. Come on. Don't go by the water, Dwayne. Like a tree planted by the wall. <laughs> I love that verse. This is my little secret spot. I cut the snake off. <laughs> off my snake tree. the waves crash against the shore. My Adidas that's been around the world, they've been to Florida, they've been to New York, <laughs> they've been to New Jersey, they've been everywhere. <laughs> and they still got treads on them. I miss the kite show and the Queen's Cup race. I do that. I think I still still come up. Park is under reconstruction. 
I couldn't take it to my other super spot. Big human beings need to ground themselves. Like Doug and Stacy said, take your shoes off on your lunch break and walk around on the grass for an hour. Or just sit somewhere with your feet on the ground. Once upon a time, we didn't wear shoes. <laughs> we were so used to walking around with shoes on that we forget to connect with the earth that God created for us. And there's something soothing about walking in the sand. I can't explain it. I just have to do it. I just walk around in your backyard with your shoes on. Give me five minutes. <laughs> Comment below how you felt after you walked around and got grounded. I just Google grounding effects and benefits for walking around barefoot. You spread your toes out like this. <laughs> spread your toes out when you walk. That's why I love wearing sandals in the summertime. I hate to leave. I'm still waiting on that house by the lakefront. Still negotiating. I haven't given up. Claim <laughs> it, y'all. In Jesus' name, amen. I think somebody got sand in their eyes. Well, that's his first experience. Don't throw sand in the air, because it's going to fly right in your face. Sandbox rules 101. <laughs> And if you was a pretty girl, you already know what happens when you go to the sandbox and they throw sand in your hair. <laughs> Haters. <laughs>
Okay, start yun. Take that as a sign when I see three birds flying. That's God's signal to me. It's gonna be okay. He's always there. Always. <laughs> I never saw one hover and like die, almost like an eagle. Taylor projects and she lives in Chicago almost her whole life and she had never been to the lakefront until she came to Wisconsin and that's so sad Ooh, look at this
I'm no more. I need to stop collecting rocks, but I can't. And I would like to just go to the hood and have the parents sign a waiver and just bring them to the Navy Pier and let them put their feet in the water. Any takers in Chicago want to help me meet that challenge? <laughs> Do something for the kids. The Navy Pier is so beautiful. Downtown Chicago is just beautiful. I love y'all. 